I was given the gift of starting late to be able to do art on my own terms. How it all began. I grew up uh, hunting and fishing, which was my father's first love. Spent a lot of time out in the field and streamside, getting comfortable with nature. My father's second love was painting, what he loved most in life. He did a lot of work painting covers for the sporting magazines. One thing that my father told me at a very early age was, son, you will never be an artist because there's no money in it and no future. I did honor my father's wishes and I did pursue other vocations. And when I got out of the service, still didn't know what I wanted to do, so I went into consulting. It gave me no joy. During that time, I'd gotten married. She looked at me, her name was Annie, and she said, you're dying on the vine, you need to bring art into your life. So she gave me for a Christmas present one year, a stone sculpting class. As soon as my hands touched stone, I went, this is my calling. I just knew it. Now I finally found after all my vocations, this is what I was put on this earth to do. I don't have a preconceived idea about what I want to do. The stone will tell me. I can see it in three dimensions. I can see a mountain lion in that, or there's a turtle sitting right there. Other times, I will see a stone, I'll go, God, that's a beautiful piece of stone. Don't know what's inside. And it will eventually speak to me. I've got a piece of red sandstone sitting in my shop right now. I had been looking at it for quite a while and not really knowing what was inside it. All of a sudden, I could see a barn owl sitting in that stone. Any one year, I can make as many as maybe five or six pieces, or one. The finishing work is what is really time consuming, but it's what makes or breaks a piece. The personality in that piece comes alive, and you can really feel that piece breathe. There's a heartbeat. I will sit in front of the piece and say, okay, let's get this piece done. And I look at it and the piece says, I'm finished. And that's a wonderful relief to know, okay, I can step away. This area has attracted an incredible number of artists just because of the quality of life here. There's some magic in these mountains. What art has given me, and it's really fascinating, it really has been an awakening. Each time that I cut a piece out of the stone, I'm freeing myself up a little bit more. I think Dad would be happy as I have gotten more and more appreciation and accolades for my work. I've got to believe that he's looking down and saying, I'm glad you're doing it. I don't want to be remembered for what I did in my earlier careers. I want people to look at me as, he created some beautiful things in stone. That means the world to me.